Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who looks like shoes, that's like spends as fast as minions, me text. I'm a useful idiot. And uh, I'm going back to the U.S. of A. So I got to talk about John McCain. And, uh, I kind of wanted to talk about John McCain for a long time. I've made some jabs at him over the years, but I haven't really given him the treatment. And uh, one of the things I've always wondered is what the hell is wrong with people who live in Arizona that they keep, keep re-electing that turd? And, uh, of course, I know the answer before I even ask the question because I know that Arizona as well as Florida are both uh, uh, populated with a lot of uh, retired people, a lot of retired military, and a lot of uh, uh, retired people who are pro-Israel. They've grown up in an era of being pro-Israel, and they still buy that line. And they also buy that line about uh, John McCain being some kind of war hero uh, by uh, being a a prisoner in North Vietnam for all those years and theoretically being tortured and although there's others who claim that uh, John McCain was a collaborator and made uh, dozens of uh, uh, pro uh, North Vietnamese uh, videos during his supposed capture well he was captured so it's not a supposed capture but uh, you know I don't necessarily have to respect that either because uh, you know my dad my dad served in Vietnam, too, and uh, he managed to not get captured. He also managed to uh, not collaborate with the enemy, so I, I feel like I've got a little room to to gripe. And uh, one of the reasons I like to criticize uh, John McCain right now specifically is his speech in the Senate the other day where he said, quote, the Israelis will need to chart their own path of resistance on the Iranian deal. They may have to go rogue. Let's hope their warnings have not been mere bluffs. Israel survived its first 19 years without U.S. patronage. For now, all it has to do is get through the next 22 admittedly long months, unquote. And uh, what a speech from John McCain in the Senate. It's moments like these that uh, our political process is an embarrassment to me. Uh, our political figures like John McCain are an embarrassment to me. And uh, to see this kind of a spectacle uh, broadcast around the world is embarrassing to me. Because first of all, for him to he'd be encouraging another government to uh, do a preemptive strike against another country, I think is a questionable moral. And um, for him to encourage them to go rogue when uh, John McCain, the supposed maverick, has been had his whole career talking about these rogue nations that have to be bombed. And yet now he, he's suggesting that Israel go rogue. And, uh, and then to, to, to say that he hopes that the Israeli bluffs, uh, these threats of Israel against Iran, have, have not been mere bluffs. And uh, you know, imagine the shock if he had said uh, he, someone had hoped that uh, Iran's supposed threats were not mere bluffs, uh, even though... Uh, the amount of threats by uh, Israel against Iran far outnumber anything uh, suggested by Iranians. And uh, so then uh, then he says all they have to do is get through the next 22 months. So suggesting that all they need to do is squeak by the next two years, Israel, and then uh, and then there's he uh, John McCain is confident that there will be another Republican in the White House and that uh, Israel and the United States will get a chance to bomb Iran. So just pretty audacious on, on John McCain's part. But, uh, you know, like I say, it's not like I expect any different from uh, different uh, behavior from John McCain after all these years. Let's remember that it was uh, 2007 that he infamously joked about bomb, 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 bomb Iran uh, to set to surf music. And uh, I remind you that that's eight years ago that uh, John McCain had a hard on for bombing Iran just like his buddy Netanyahu, and uh, it doesn't even seem to matter what the facts are, what the logic is, or what kind of negotiations are going on, what is the reality of geopolitics. He just wants to bomb another country. And uh, there is John McCain has never met a war he didn't like, and uh, the fact that he's ready for any war under any administration should be a, a warning to all Americans. And uh, let's remember that John McCain is also the one that said, uh, that uh, if it took 50 years or maybe 100 years, we should stay in Iraq. And uh, as things uh, unfold, he may get his dream come true, the United States being in Iraq for 100 years. That seems to be the kind of a promise that John McCain 
uh, lives for. And then also uh, John McCain uh, one, once was told that one of the United States major exports to Iran was cigarettes, and he seemed to be overjoyed at the idea that uh, the U.S. exports could kill Iranians slowly. And, uh, and then, of course, uh, one of my personal favorites, John McCain, talking about someone uh, interrupting and protesting uh, somewhere where he was speaking and calling them uh, and calling out to them to stop or I'll have you arrested, you low-life scum, unquote. So the, the true nature of uh, John McCain's relationship to American citizens and to any rational thought or to anything besides uh, starting another war, uh, those, uh, that, I, that kind of idea is foreign to him. And uh, so anyway, I just want to give my hats off to John McCain for continuing to uh, rattle your sword all low these many years seeming to have learned nothing from uh, supposedly being uh, tortured in Vietnam for a decade. And, um, well, I guess that's it. I said my piece. Fuck you, John McCain. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.